Yes, sir. My tricker. Back up in this thing, man. Today, we'll be venturing back into the unknown, man. Today, I'm reacting to some creepy videos that might just draw you to your wits end. But before we hop into that, go ahead and spam that like button right now so we can run our numbers up on the algorithm. And you ain't gotta think about it later. And everybody was already subbed up, man. We're over 130K. And I just wanna thank each and every one of you guys for helping me build and grow this community since day one. But with that being said, guys, let's hop straight into the video. You won't believe what's happening in China. They have started painting their ceilings blue. As you guys probably know, the only houses didn't catch up on fire in Hawaii were the only ones that were painted blue. Which were the mansions that belonged to the elites. China started doing this because they figured out that the color blue is resistant to the lasers. Even other countries like Korea, you can actually get in Google Map and see some other houses. Maybe blue roofs are just trending right now, but it looked like the entire city is starting to make the switch, which tells me that maybe they got some sort of official notification telling them that this could be a threat and we just missed the memo. Mandela. Going through my old VHS tapes here. What's this one? Berenstain Bears. The Berenstain Bears play ball. Well, let's see what the name is on the VHS tape. Oh, it's Berenstein Bears play ball. Berenstein Bears play ball. My mind does not deceive me. What do you think about that? Berenstein. I remember it being Baron Stein Bears for sure, so I'm glad people are starting to dig up their old VHS tapes, bro. Sorry let this one slip through the cracks. This might be the quickest somebody has ever gotten famous. Bobby Alouf is the host of the really good podcast, and as you've probably seen, it's gone extremely viral. And completely out of the blue, she has interviewed some of the most famous people on the planet. Like, for example, Drake, Mark Cuban, which is just honestly insane, and even Tyga. But by doing this, it created a massive conspiracy surrounding her. And the crazy thing is, she is actually feeding into it. Everybody is saying she's an industry plant, and many people believe it. But just watch this recent clip from her podcast, and let me know what you think. Is this the truth hidden in plain sight, or is she just playing into it? The industry plant. So what happened was, I was at home, like, a few months ago, and I was just sitting there, and I got a call. And then I also got a knock at the door at the same time. And they were like, hello, we're the industry. Mm -hmm. And I was like, what does that mean? And they were like, you can't ask any questions. And I was like, okay. And they were like, you're going to blow up. You just have to follow our lead and give us 78% uh, of your money that you make from this. Mm -hmm. uh, very fair offer. And then they also said that I had to have a Very fair offer, 75% for them. Yeah, because I wasn't making that much before. Okay. So it's like they're entitled to it. And I, don't, I didn't ask any questions. They just said... Uh, you have to give us the next you have to, so. So that's like Illuminati thing. Kind of, but it's the industry instead, and they planted me. I'm not concerned about her being an industry plan. If anything, she's just a distraction to hold our attention while we're on the internet, because this truly doesn't impact anything. The ends of my parrot's feathers are glitching. We need a factory reset. Get the video, get the video. I'm getting a video. There's this huge thing making re-entry right now huge fireball up in the sky that's actually sick it's just leaving a trail across the sky that thing's coming from like several times the speed of sound into the atmosphere it's crossing over the sky hold on i need to get out and record this look at that thing That's gorgeous. Look at it. It only took it like a few 
seconds to go from one end of the sky to the other. It's like fading off in the distance now. I can barely even capture it. At first it looked like a Tron cycle trail. The only thing that I could think of that this could possibly be would be some sort of rocket because an asteroid or space junk would be in multiple pieces, man. Let me know what y'all think about this one. So we're renting this house in Poipu, Kauai. And can someone tell me why the bushes are screaming? If anybody knows, that would be really helpful because it's been, this is like the third day that it's done that. I don't know how I feel about sounds in general coming from a bush, but that sounds like agony, bro. They need to get a botanist over there. Did you guys know that there's a U.S. patent for mind control? The video that I'm about to show you guys is going to tell you all about it. I originally didn't believe them until I looked it up myself and found the same information. Check this out. So the dude said it was patent 6506148. I looked it up on Google. Look what came up. United States patent. I was like, no way. Had to put my glasses on for this one. The invention relates to the stimulation of the human nervous system by electromagnetic field applied externally to the body. The electric field was arranged to provide a direct electrical driving of the brain. What do y'all think that means? This kind of reminds me of the Batman Forever movie when Jim Carrey played the Riddler and he used that TV adapter to hypnotize people, bro. And that was in the 90s. This patent came from 2001, so they probably been doing this. like a scientist tried to create a hybrid jellyfish mixed with a sea turtle and something went terribly wrong. For years on September 23rd, conspiracies that the world is coming to an end have flooded the internet. These theories are sparked by the overwhelming appearance of the numbers 9, 2, and 3 appearing in numerous television shows and movies. I'm just going to go through this list. Third rock from the sun, there was a meteor that was scheduled to hit the planet in 2015. And yet everyone on the planet gets all worked up about these pointless little behaviors, blissfully unaware of the great vaporizing meteor due in 2015. The Big Bang Theory, an asteroid strikes September 23rd. The Volcano Movie 239 in the license plate. Seeking a friend at the end of the world, an asteroid strikes on September 22nd, 23rd, and ends the world. The movie Deep Impact starring Morgan Freeman. The asteroid would strike on 922. Evan Almighty, he said the date of the flood is September 22nd. Until September 22nd, midday. And if the arc isn't finished by then, you will be. Is that when it's going to happen? September 22nd, midday? The movie Knowing, the date of September 22nd and 23rd, the Earth is destroyed by a solar flare. Little Shop of Horrors, you had this September 23rd event that humans will encounter a threat. The movie Tomorrowland, Disaster Strikes on September 23rd. In NCIS, The Last Man Standing was the episode Do They Know 23? No. You know that signal there. In Jim Carrey's movie 23, he mentions the date September 23rd as the day that hell arrives. In the TV show Sleepy Hollow, September 23rd, a new dimension is opened. Hello? It could just be a coincidence, but he just named about 10 different examples. So just to play it safe, I'm thinking about staying home on the 23rd. He need to leave a five star Google review for this hat maker because whatever they made his brim out of saved his life, bro. You can still hear the saw blade clinking. Yep, Houston, we got a problem. Now check this out. 
I bought this brand fish. It said it's supposed to be wild caught, right? Wild caught from Ecuador. Now I ain't knocking nobody hustle. But this just don't seem kosher to me. Now watch this. This is a slice of fish. This is supposed to be whitey. Right? It's got skin on everything. Look at it. Right? The insides of it is like a diaper material. Look at that. You know like a wet diaper? Right? Now watch this. Now where do you know a fish? You can squeeze it like a sponge like this. Where on the planet you know you can squeeze a fish like that? Now look, put it back in the water, and it's whole again. It's a fish. See? Fish is supposed to be flaky, not spongy, bro. That's never breaking down in your system. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my. F I'm not sure about this one because she didn't show what was behind the closet door. Plus, I know if this was me, I wouldn't be wasting time filming. I'd be preparing a bonfire. What in the world did I just find for after the Maui fires? This was updated August 12th, 2023. And I just found a location that has a triangle. And also, when you zoom in on this, what's this look like right here? So when you pan out, it suggests that it's to put something into there. You also have another small triangle that's inside. So here it is, panned out. And what I can do is I can go back in time with previous maps, and you can see what it looked like. Right here, you can see that the mound was starting to be formed in the triangle. This is back in January 2022, by the way. And I go back a little bit more. And you see that now the mound is gone and that triangle really isn't there because the triangle comes through here. And then if you go back another day, well, it just disappears entirely. So, what do you think that is or something just appearing at the start of January of 2022. Again, there it is. You see the triangle inside, and you can tell me what you think that looks like. Take care. God bless. Whatever it is, it was clearly meant to be seen from the sky. To me, it looks like an arrow pointing at a target, bro. Let me know what y'all think that is. In Greece now, flooding and a powerful storm yesterday uh, is being blamed for at least one fatality at this hour. The floodwaters on this Greek island poured through narrow streets, some people jumping into the water to save their belongings. And in one coastal city, the flooding swept away cars and left others mangled along the roadside. Greece's prime minister called all this an extreme weather phenomenon. That's a direct quote. When a prime minister says extreme weather phenomenon, it brings one major culprit to mind. When your job sends you to a no-made town, almost no people around. Creepy Temple would be enough for me to call my boss and request a new job site, bro. This feels like the beginning of every horror movie.
I think we can safely say that this house is haunted. Japan's Prime Minister eats fish from treated radioactive waters. Yes, just like in The Simpsons. Japan's Prime Minister, Fumio Kishida, has been filmed eating fish sashimi from Fukushima to try to show that it's safe. Kishida and his cabinet ministers ate a selection of flounder, octopus and sea bass for lunch. The fish was caught off the Fukushima coast after treated radioactive wastewater had been released into the Pacific Ocean. And yes, it's quite similar to this scene from a 1990 episode of The Simpsons, oh, right. where Mr. Burns eats Blinky, a three-eyed fish. The wastewater has built up since a 2011 earthquake and tsunami triggered one of the world's worst nuclear disasters at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant. Japan insists the treated water is safe, and so far the UN's nuclear watchdog has backed them. But China immediately banned imports of Japanese fish after the water was released. He's probably not feeling the effects now, but in about four to five years, he's gonna regret this decision. It looks like some sort of ghost or extra dimensional being and the video doesn't look altered at all bro this might be some of the clearest paranormal footage we got yet the pentagon released new ufo footage today and it's absolutely insane So yeah, what's everybody's thoughts on this video? And why do you think they're releasing all this UFO footage so recently now? And they posted this on their new website called The One Stop Shop, and it's a website for declassified information about UFO photos, videos, and reports. They've been sitting on these videos for years, but now all of a sudden they want to pump them out, bro. It's pretty clear that we've been conditioned. Las Vegas is wild. I know it's monsoon season right now, but the weather this year in general has been bipolar, bro. One week is wet with flash floods, and the next week is extremely hot and dry. I can't keep up no more. Drax says that his career is being guided by some other power, and he has no idea what it is. I can use all my heart and my soul, you know, in my writing, but at the end of the day, I am being guided by some other power. I don't know what it is. I close doors, a lot of six guy worshiping. Yeah. We got London on the track. This is all guys doing, man, you can't plan it. But if the devil's in the details, then I'm satanic. Devil's working overtime. Voodoo spells put on my life. So I give him the nod, meaning he'll blast for me like putting a six with the guard. Oh. Give a fuck about your mob, boy. Oh. I'm the real six guy, boy. The truth is, you're scared of the six. Yeah, you're scared of the six. Yeah, you're scared of the six. Six guy praying hands like I'm a religious man, but I'm just a sicker man, wicked man. One could only assume what kind of power he's being guided by based on those lyrics alone. Oh 
she got the air millipede 11s, bro. I couldn't comfortably put my feet back in those. Most ghost hunters work their entire careers without getting a shot this good, and he just caught arguably the clearest footage of a poacher guys ever by mistake. Yo, I'm up in Walmart right now. I see all the watermelon stuff going on uh, all over the world. Check this out. What? In, uh, yo, did you see that? Bro, it's got pressure behind it. What in the world? And that's not the only one. There's a bunch in here. They all feel. This one's weak. I can put my finger through it, y'all. Did y'all see that? It's not just this one, though. They're, they're all, they all got pressure built up in them. Did you see that? Oh, man, there's pressure in there. This ain't normal. I'm actually appalled that they still put those out on the floor for people to still buy, bro. Where's the health inspector? Okay, guys, so I've been working, and it's been a minute since I posted a, a video of the activity that's been going on, but um, there's some, there, there's a lot going on right now. Let me show you what kind of what's happening. Okay, do you see? The mirror has been doing this for like 15 minutes now. That just seems unlivable. Secret military tech is getting scary. There's a sort of a bubble, an envelope in space time that this object is moving in. If you look at the radar tracings of these things, these objects can be moving at 200,000 miles an hour, make a right hand turn. Like one of the radar things we have from Belgium, from I got from the Belgian Air Force was an object that was at, you know, slightly above AGL, a few feet of AG, above ground level. And it went from there to boom, like 100,000 feet and to one radar swoop. You know, boom. And there are occupants on these. Now, you know, I mean, any pilot knows if you had the G-forces of that, your brains would mm -hmm. There's no way it'd be. But because it's calling, for, correcting for one G, there's no limit to what it can do. So they don't go, feel the G. They don't feel it and go straight up. Well, it's science, but it's really. That would be us. It's us. It's U.S. Well, let's call it global. It's it's part of this secret government asset base. I would have liked to see him support that with a little more evidence. But if what he's saying is true, then Project Bluebeam is starting to sound a lot more plausible. <laughs> through the video so i can only imagine what it does to all the marine life bro no wonder we getting all these beachings a secret message about ufos is on a government website the united states just launched a brand new website specifically about ufos and you won't believe it but, but there's a secret message that has everybody freaking out on page six of arrow's mission statement you'll see a weird image right next to the paragraph where they're talking about ufo crash retrievals and the image is on the corner of the next four pages before i show you the secret message can we all just take a moment to pause and realize how far we've come in the ufo world the freaking government has a website about ufos all right back to the secret message when you put each of the four images together you'll see that there's an odd shaped ball and initially it doesn't seem like it's a big deal but some nerds did some research and found out the ball it actually has a double meaning the image is of a stock photo from adobe and the file name is alien technology which is the ultimate gaslight because just a few months ago the director of arrow told us there's no evidence of aliens if that's the case why stigmatize your department with this image on your website if they would have made this website and started putting this information out about 10 15 years ago then maybe i would be more impressed but to me it's starting to feel like they want us to be distracted with this agenda what secret is the statue of liberty actually hiding to many the statue of liberty signifies freedom but not a lot of people know what that freedom is actually from well you see if you look at the statue of liberty the seven points on its crown actually signifies the seven deadly sins of the world and that's not it because the torch signifies someone called the light bearer or you might know him as lucifer if we put all the pieces together you'll realize that the luciferian agenda has been propagated the whole time and the freedom that the statue of liberty represents is actually freedom from god 
Canada. It is said that the devil's ultimate weapon is being invisible. But if you don't yet believe, maybe you should be asking the question. It's a terrible look to how this is your country's mascot if that's the case. What happens when a hacker from Anonymous meets an FBI agent? Your background is in the FBI? Yes. And you used, did you work with Anonymous? Uh, yeah, I was involved uh, for a number of years. So what do you think is the biggest threat right now? I think the biggest threat's the FBI, the NSA, um, and their counterparts in foreign governments. I mean, these are all essentially, you know, companies, right, that try to justify their budgets in various ways, often by scaremongering. With virtual impunity, will launch exactly the same kinds of assaults that they'll lock people up for decades for. Well, I obviously don't agree with that. Uh, I don't think that the government's the worst entity in the world. I mean, there's plenty of criminals out there, and there are uh, plenty of unscrupulous people out there who are launching attacks, real attacks that we see all the time. You have a very interesting old Cupid story, but <laughs> can you tell us this story, please? Yeah, sure. I hacked a dating website, OKCupid, and I uh, made myself the most popular male profile in Los Angeles uh, for a period of about three months. You know, ended up meeting my fiance that way. Wow, that's so cool. The FBI agent didn't deny anything that he says that they do, but based on the look in his eye, you can tell he hates the Fed. Breaking news, dengue fever has finally hit the shores of Florida. I'm Dr. Hassan, board certified trauma anesthesiologist. For those who aren't paying attention, dengue fever, also known as fever, has now hit the shores of Florida. Officials in Florida are now trying to spread the word that dengue fever, also known as fever because the pain from the fever from the mosquito bite itself is as bad as if you broke your bone that cases have now started and there's over 20 cases in florida already more than 200 suspected in florida the reason i bring this up is because dengue fever is very 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 painful it feels as if your muscles and your bones are from the inside it is a that comes from a mosquito that's found mainly in south america africa asia those kind of places mexico now it has made its way over the border and into florida at this rate it might be worth it to invest in a full mosquito suit bro i don't think the office gonna cut it a flight was forced to turn around because someone's explosive diarrhea caused a biohazard issue uh, a biohazard issue i you know we've had a passenger who had diarrhea all the way through the airplane the delta flight was heading to barcelona from atlanta and was over two hours into the trip before a passenger rushed down the aisle frantically searching for a bathroom dripping along the way. Other passengers on the flight said vanilla scented disinfectant was sprayed, but it only made it smell like, quote, vanilla shit. They couldn't get rid of the smell no matter how much they tried, so ultimately had to divert and land. Upon landing, the flight was delayed for over eight hours while the crew ripped out the carpet. If this happened to me, you would never see my face again. Hey, when you gotta go, you gotta go, but this is why I try to avoid going to Taco Bell at least three days before I get on the airplane. But with that being said, guys, that was the video. Thank you for coming to kick it with me. Let me know what you guys thought about these creepy videos in the comments below. And until next time, y'all take care of yourself.